base cough directly in the household center. Another is the soothing biting sandals, and that remedies have increased the liquidity or the cash holding of the in the household center. And in this situation, if the people have the cash, what will happen? They engage in the speculative activities. They engage the unproductive activities. They also create their own demand. And in this situation, that demand can make you know contribute to increase the inflation and it is not good to the economy and controlling sort of credit investment in the sale and real estate generally real estate you know business is considered as an unproductive you know investment in this situation nepal Rasavai wants to control it and if we observe the over one year and the one and a half year you can easily find out nepal Rasavai tightly control you no know, credits on the real estate and in this situation, real estate's you know, price and business are collapsed. And another is the you know, working you know, our budget policies, major concern is the increasing investment into the productive sector. And the, our target is the that monetary policies major target is to maintain the per person inflation rate. And uh, after the calculation of the that inflation, you know. Nepal last time thinks if our economic inflation rate at 8%, what will happen? Poor and the poor, poor people can adjust their life properly. And another one is the its negative implication can be managed. This is the thinking. Another is the FR, foreign currency for oil plus import. If we observe the our trade balance, you can easily find out approximately 400 billion rupees you know trade deficit is as at present moment it means we need huge resources for maintaining the import trade and it also indicate our economic activities productive activities and export activities are you know recessed situation and in this situation you know nepal also when try to maintain the foreign currency reserve ratio for oil months import and for security to maintain the our economic activities or the flow of the goods and services you know, between you know, within the country and 6% economic growth rate budget has estimated you know to as in 4.4% you know average economic growth rate but the target is the you can expect it by person targeted you know 6% and to gain as in the 6% economic growth rate the monetary policy must provide supply of the trade into the productive sector. Another is to maintain 16% money supply growth. Yes, if money supply growth increases more than 60%, what happened? It, its negative implication can be found into the you know, inflation and other different types of the economic macroeconomic indicators. Another is the to increase private investment at 0.5%. At the same moment, you know, private investment is a little bit you know, lower than the that target. In this situation, that monetary policy has kept the to increase to promote the private investment at 0.5%, which is required for achieving the 6% economic growth. This is our target. And look at this you know, instrument, increasing cash reserve ratio. And the permission to invest foreign currency nowadays to add the certain level in the airport. Commercial banks are providing certain you know, permissions. They can invest, they can purchase the share of the Indian you know, stock markets, share in the you know, China, and they also they purchase the debentures and bonds of the other you know, developed countries where projects are the feasible or the profitable. That is what that it indicates nowadays we have a you know, Foreign currency reserve ratio is increasing, excessive, and promoting the open market means nowadays you can easily find out share market is booming, and this is the good. It indicates the our economic activities is in, is in the right direction. Stable. And to stabilize, it, to maintain the growth, central banks or the monetary policies, you know, role is very important, and they try to come in the open market. And then to maintain the such growth and the such trade, they try to use the open market injection of the money in the 
sale and securities market. Another is the refinance at the low interest rate. You know, Nepal, just like government has proposed to provide the loans at the 6% in the agriculture sector, all the you know, different sectors for commercialized and the expansion of the, these entities. And in this situation, you know, government provides the loans at 6% for promoting these activities and such projects like for one year and two year and the such projects are refinanced if they, their performance is better you know the Palarasa and monetary policy has adopted the refinancing policy try to maintain, try to continue the economic activities yes if you have any question thank you sir when you commercial when you structure central bank Oh. Yeah. I need cash